John, a point on the board, what's your take on today's action? I think we're disappointed with uh, just coming away with a point, obviously with the circumstances of the game and, and we came here trying to win it, but um, overall I thought the, the effort levels were absolutely superb. I thought we actually got control of the game towards the back end of the first half before the red card. And, and then after that, you know, it was all one-way traffic in the second half. Uh, I thought Blackpool defended really well. The goalkeeper came away with man of the match. I thought we created more than enough to win the game and the ball just didn't quite drop the right side of the post or um, one of those goal mass scrambles didn't go away. So we came here for three points. As the game went on, we tried to obviously win it and uh, it didn't quite go our way, but uh, very, very pleased, I think, with the way the boys went about their business. How do you think the red card affected the game? Sometimes it makes it a bit more difficult because the game was quite end-to-end -end and, and frantic and uh, I thought we'd, you know, we a couple of times caused ourselves some problems with uh, the fact that we didn't pick up second balls and, and they broke on us, but uh, that sometimes makes it a bit more difficult for, for them to actually break us down. So uh, it made it an interesting one from our point of view tactically. Uh, playing against 10 men, we've not been great actually this season playing against 10 men, so overall I thought pretty pleased with the amount of chances we've created and uh, you know sometimes with the amount of athleticism and some of the players that, that Blackpool have got as well making sure we keep things locked off at the back it was, um, it was really pleasing that we didn't do that yeah I'm gutted we didn't win the game but um, you know move on to Tuesday and, and we've got to make up for oh, so we've got to make sure this is a good point by following up with the win one change to the 11 with Jack Sparks coming in for Connor Overy what's the issue there yeah so <sighs> A few people might have noticed it when Connor got uh, treatment. Oh, he actually didn't get treatment, sorry. It was just about five minutes into the second half against Oxford. He went over awkwardly on his knee. We actually feared that it might be a bit worse midweek, but uh, it shouldn't be too bad. It should be about three to four weeks. So uh, no problem there. Uh, well, no problem because we've got Jack coming in and, and being as solid as he was, but not quite as bad as we possibly thought it could be with Connor. Uh, another one where it's just one of those blows. There was, um, there was actually no one anywhere near him. He's, twisted his knee badly and he's had some real horrid luck with injuries this year so um, thankfully it's not too bad but um, you know Connor's been such a solid performer for us uh, it was a shame that he's out. Callum and Jack Sparks look to be forced off is that the case or is it just a, ch a case of changing things up in the second half? No both forced off I thought it was a really poor challenge early on on, on Callum Lang it earned their ladder booking uh, I thought he, he tried to hurt our player in the first half as well when he went in on miles nothing was given and yeah, it was a nasty challenge from behind and it's, it's cost Callum um, potential injury. To be honest, the challenge here, I, I didn't think of anything of it in real time, so I won't make out to be anything other than, than what it was, which was as soon as we saw Jack's ankle, um, which was it, it's just sort of contact and quite a bit of blood. Uh, it looks like a, a bad one, so he must have caught him at some point. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, both forced off through injury. You brought on Owen Moxon at half-time. What impact did he have in your eyes? Uh, I thought that Owen was uh, really creative going forward, uh, a couple of opportunities, I think he cut in on his left foot, had a decent shot, probably disappointed he didn't keep the other half volley down, but um, you know, really good to be able to introduce Owen. Uh, we were slightly worried about Miles being on that um, yellow card and, and you know, whether the referee might um, you know, obviously send him off, we wanted to protect him from that. So it was, it was a different game from, from, um, for Owen because of the fact we had a lot of the ball, uh, but yeah, I thought he did really well. Overall, plenty of positives to take into Tuesday. Yeah, I, I mean, loads really. You, you come away from here and to be disappointed with a point. I know the circumstances of the game mean that we would have loved to have taken all three, but uh, the worst thing that I think you could have come away uh, in the second half here is you know, a sort of lacklustre performance where we don't create a lot against a really solid back line. We, we created plenty, hit the post, and I, I said it again, the goalkeeper is man of the match, so I'm pretty pleased overall, apart from not winning the game. Just finally, a message to our supporters. Sold out away in today, brilliant back in again. Yeah, they were amazing, they're absolutely mental. I mean, just uh, you know, to, to come up here and to, and to face that uh, when we come out as, as staff and players is, is brilliant. And I think the, the players obviously appreciated that at the end of the game. There was a, it was a noticeable how loud they were. It's noticeable how far away this is from Portsmouth as well um, on a very cold March afternoon. So, um, you know, fair play to them. Brilliant support again. And, I think we've got now four away games left and we know we're going to get that. Um, and yeah, big five games at Fratton too.